Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Vish. And welcome back to another book haul book unboxing video. These are all the packages that I received in November. So let's do this very quickly because I am literally melting in this heat. But before we get into the video, I just want to say this video is kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa. So if you don't know, Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that produces high quality jewelry that start at just $39. So you're getting high quality jewelry at an affordable price. Ana Luisa jewelry is also made from recyclable metals and they are 100% carbon and water neutral which is really great for the environment. They also come in reusable packaging which we will have a look at the moment because since this is a unboxing haul video I actually have not unboxed the jewelry pieces that they sent me so I thought we could do it together. So here's the package let's open it and see what pieces that I got. So it comes in this little package. I'm not gonna lie I actually don't remember what I requested so this will be as a surprise for you as it is for me and packaging is made out of 100% recycled paper so that's really great so this is the packaging of these so you can reuse these especially when you travel and you need to transport your jewelry anywhere I actually use these pouches all the time. So let's open these and see what I got. So let's open this first one, which is in this package. And I got a butterfly necklace. That's really cute. Oh, it's so little, it's so dainty. And I absolutely love it. And now we come to the next little package. So let's just open this and the next jewelry piece is a oh it's a sun and like a pearl moon necklace that is really really gorgeous. This is so cute. The best thing about Ana Luisa's jewelry is that you can always dress it up and dress it down whenever you like and I really really love this one. So the next package we have is... Oh my god, gold hoop earrings. That is so cute. I've always wanted little hoop earrings and these gold ones are so, so pretty. I'm actually going to wear them right now. Oh my god, these are so cute. I really like it. Like I said, you can literally dress it up and dress it down I'm wearing a t-shirt. Okay, now for the next package we have is oh my god they're little silver hoop earrings that i really like if you've seen me and my channel for a while i wear little hoop earrings all the time every day for like the last 10 years i've been wearing that one and i even badly needed a replacement so i got these it is so so cute they're like these little silver hoop earrings with cute little diamonds just for a little bit of pizzazz okay so the last little package we have from Ana Luisa is oh my god it's the Virgo necklace yes if you know me I am a Virgo through and through and they have these zodiac necklaces of gold ones and it's so pretty look at that reflectiveness I'm actually going to wear this because this is so so cute look at that okay i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video but if you would like to get your hands on any of these pieces i actually have a coupon code for you all which is books with v20 which gives you 20 percent off your order it'll be linked in the description if you want to use that coupon it would greatly support me and the channel and of course you get amazing jewelry pieces that will literally last you a long 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 time and also Ana Luisa is doing a end of year sale which is 70% off certain pieces but the rest of the website also has 20% off so this is the time. Go get your pieces. Treat yourself for the new year. And once again, thank you so much for Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video and working with me again. All right, now let's get into the video. So first off, I want to open some books that I bought myself. So the first one is a pre-order that I did before my whole book buying ban thing. If you haven't seen the last book unboxing and haul. I mentioned that I'm doing the Broke Bitches Book Buying Band Bingo Board. So basically whenever I hit a bingo I can get a book and I actually got my first bingo which is the other package that I will show you about a book. So let's go through those packages. Okay so these other two Amazon packages I don't know which one's which so let's just open them up and see what happens. So let's open this one and this one is Oh, Heart of the Sun Warrior by Su Lin Tan. This is a gorgeous cover. And 
There you go, floppy paperback, which I love. So this is a sequel to The Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which a lot of people have read now. And I think it came out last year or beginning of this year. I'm not sure. The second and the last book, because it's a duology, is now out and I can binge this series. This is a great cover. This is an adult fantasy inspired by Chinese mythology. And I'm very excited to get to this one day oh my god I really hope I love this series because the covers are gorgeous all right on to the second package this is the book I bought because I got a bingo and I'm excited for this one because I know what it is yes two wrongs make a right by Chloe Lee so this is her recent release that is traditionally published by Piacus and I've been wanting to read this ever since it came out but I had to hit a bingo first. So this was my reward. I cannot wait to read this. I'm pretty sure this one has a fake dating trope, maybe and like enemies to lovers kind of thing. But anyway, I love Chloe Lee's and her writing and her romances. I have no doubt I'm gonna love this and I'm going to hopefully read it sometime soon. I think I'm gonna be buddy reading this with one of my patrons, Liz. Cannot wait to do that. I, yeah. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so those are the two books that I bought. And now I'm actually going to unbox another candle that I got from Grace and Honey, which is from Becca from Becca and the Books. And she is closing up her shop for the holiday season. So she has been restocking like crazy. And she restocked a lot of like Akatar candles. So guess what I did? This is not the only candle I ordered, by the way. This was another restock. But anyway, let's open this. Ah, yes, the candle that I really wanted, and that is Starfall, which is inspired by Akatar, obviously. And, ah, this smells so good. It has jasmine in it. That's why I ordered it. And I love jasmine. And this is going to be so good. I finally got my smell and taste back from COVID, so... I haven't been using any candles because of it, because what's the point? Ah, I cannot wait to use this. I also got a package from Illumicrate in this little thing, because I didn't realize in the last book unboxing, when I unboxed the October box for Illumicrate, they were missing an item, and I didn't even realize. So I'm going to be opening this, because they sent it separately. I think it's a paper craft kit, and I have zero idea what a paper craft kit is. So we'll find out together. So this is the paper craft kit and it is inspired by Ninth House. I have no idea what to do with this. Apparently I have to assemble the pieces on top of this guy to ensure proper alignment and then mount your finished paper craft in, on the included background card. Interesting. I will try to do this and then I will post it on my IG story when I complete this. Alrighty. Next up, I also have more special editions from Bookish Box because my mother is absolutely ruthless. Also, I forgot to mention, as I said from my last book unboxing, Bookish Box and the Fairy Loot Adult Box is bought by my mom very kindly because she loves me. And I bought the Goldsboro subscription myself. So with Bookish Box, they have a young adult box and adult fantasy box as well. And I'm subscribed to both the YA box and the adult box. However, these books are special edition books and this thing is an extra you can already see what the special editions are so my mom has read zodiac academy and she really likes it so she was like let me get the special editions and she did now she's passed it on to me so i can read the damn series and i don't know if i'm going to like it but at least i'll give it a try and if i don't like it of course i'll give it back to my mom so this is the silhouette i'll be definitely putting these on my shelf i already have a few let's get into the books so it comes with this card that says Zodiac Academy series and all the artists that worked on this collection has been listed. So first book, Zodiac Academy, The Awakening. So that is how the book looks like. So if you line up all the books, the silhouette actually like matches up, which I will show you in a sec. Anyway, this is the first book and there's end paper art for all of them. There's four books here. So I won't show you all of them because that'll be time consuming but there is end paper art and also art under the dust jacket and also a reversible dust jacket if you wanted an alternative cover. I actually like this cover because it's, it's just a pop of color to it instead of just a plain black and white. And then we have the second book Zodiac Academy 2 Ruthless Faye. And then we have Zodiac Academy 3 The Reckoning. And the last book that they sent for now is Zodiac Academy 4 Shadow Princess. I think after the eighth book comes out they will do a sale of the next four. So let me just align them so you can see the sprayed edges. Okay so that's how it looks. 
with the sprayed edges. I'll show you the spines as well because they sort of line up. So those are the spines. It's really, really cute. All right, now we move on to the Fairy Loot Adult Box, which is right here. So let's go ahead and open it up. If you don't know, Fairy Loot is a book subscription box that has both a YA box and now an adult box since this year. And I've been subscribed to the adult box ever since its conception, which is, I think, February. So this is the November box, and I think I've seen what the book actually looks like, just because obviously it's now end of December, so. But I'm excited to see it in person, so. There we are, I still hate those things. So the theme of the November box is bad blood. All right, so it comes in this little fairy loot pouch, which I will be keeping because I am moving next year. So I need something to transport my books. All right, so this is the book for November, which is A Diary of Blood by S.T. Gibson. That's very cool. Cause that is a new cover, I'm assuming. Wow, look at that sprayed edge. That is really, really cool. And we have N paper art and nothing under the dust jacket but there is art on the hardcover itself that is very very cool. I won't say it is my favorite fairy loot book but it's still very very pretty for what it is. So I'm not sure exactly what the Diary of Blood is but I know it's a story about one of Dracula's wives and her relationship with Dracula because has a poly relationship with different women so it's about one of his wives and how she deals with that and just basically toxic relationships and I've always wanted to read this. I actually have the self-published version and now I have my own hard copy of the new version. I don't know if they changed anything in the story but we shall see. And last but not least we have my November goals for a box. It came a bit late but that's okay so we're gonna open it. So again I pay for my GSFF subscription which is goals for a science fiction and fantasy fellowship where they pick a new release of a adult sometimes YA fantasy or sci-fi book and it is signed number and it's exclusive edition to Goldsboro. I've been loving their picks ever since I subscribed in May, June, but I haven't read any of those picks so I don't know if the subscription is worth it. But have no fret, one day I will test out these books and I will let you know. So difficult to open this box. There we go. Alrighty, this is the book so just give me two hours to unwrap this. All right, so November's book is The Immortality Thief by Taryn Hunt. This is, I believe, an adult. Oh, wow, that's sprayed edge. Look at that sprayed edge. That is gorgeous. It's just purple on either side, but that middle is absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, it is signed and numbered. Oh, and we have a little foiling on the book and it is signed and numbered this is copy 1209 and i didn't expect this book to be very thick but it is and you also have a ribbon if you can see it's yellow no idea what this book is about but there's a little blurb that says far off the edge of human existence beside a dying star lies a nameless ship abandoned and hidden lost for a millennium there are secrets there terrible secrets that would change the fate of humanity and eventually someone would come looking refugee criminal and linguist sean wren is made an offer he knows he can't refuse. Life in prison, voluntary military service, or salvaging data in a long dead language from an abandoned ship filled with traps and monsters. Just days before it's destroyed in a supernova. Data connected to the philosopher stone experiments into unlocking the secrets of immortality. And he's not the only one looking for the derelict ship. Ministers, mysterious undying aliens that have ruled over humanity for centuries want the data, as does the Republic, humanity's last free government and time is running out. In the bowels of the derelict ship surrounded by horrors and dead men, Sean slowly uncovers the truth of what happened on the ship in its final days and the terrible secret it's hiding. That's pretty cool. I wonder it's called the Immortality Thief because they're all trying to find the Philosopher's Stone and I hope it's multi-perspective because if we follow each of the individuals that are hunting the Philosopher's Stone, that would be really cool. But we shall see. Alrighty, so that is the book haul, book unboxing video. If you made it to the end of the video, put a Virgo emoji down in the comments and let me know which of the books that you saw 
were your favorite. My favorite is definitely my new Chloe Lee's book that I'm so excited to read. I cannot wait. Thank you once again for Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. Check out the link and the coupon in my description to get 20% off your order and don't forget to check out their end of the year sale. Like this video if you like it, subscribe if you haven't. All my socials and my Patreon is linked down below if you want to check them out. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! I'll be